Fran again. Reset, week two, talking about days 11, 12, 13, and 14. I'm condensing my videos. I don't want to bore you and have you look at each one, um, especially when I don't have anything major to report that's going on. Um, I have noticed, I didn't talk about how I was feeling in my last video, so I'll, I'll tell you now. I have noticed an increase of energy. I am going to bed a little bit later and I'm waking up earlier, all on my own, without an alarm clock. Um, and if you know me, I, I'm a sleeper. I hate being like this, but I'm one of those people that just really requires eight, if not more hours a night of sleep, which is crazy, I know. Um, and I'm usually falling asleep nine, 10 o'clock. Anyway, now I'm up to 11, <laughs> which is really a big deal for me and still waking up even earlier without my alarm clock. So I love the energy part. Um, I'm not feeling anything bad um, as far as like, you know, headaches or stomach discomfort, considering it's mostly fruits and vegetables, I'm completely fine. And so is my husband. So um, this, anyway, these are the last few days of the last four days of week two, which is where you're having that detox. We have things to eat this week, such as um, hearty vegetable miso soup, which is your regular miso soup that we've been having all along, but we're adding a lot of vegetables to it um, and thus makes it more filling, hearty. So, and you're gonna double that again because you're gonna have it for dinner one night and then you're gonna have it again for lunch the next day. So you wanna make sure that you double your recipes and again, always look ahead, I can't stress that enough. Um, we had beets with collard greens, coconut collard greens. First time I ever ate collard greens in my whole life. Now I'm going on, well, when I first did the reset, I was just 49. Yeah, I think, or well, 48. I'm so confused, I was just 48. Anyway, I had never eaten collard greens and I just moved to the South and people down here just don't understand that because that's a staple. So anyway, I made collard greens for the very first time and I love them, especially with this recipe, which is a um, little coconut milk and onions. Very simple and easy. My tip with collard greens, make sure you cook it long enough because it can be tough if you don't soften them up. So make sure you do that. One night this week too, we had a kambuka, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, but a kambuka squash with a garlic tahini filling. Tahini is one of those things, it's a crushed sesame seed and it's probably only gonna be found in one of your specialty stores, Whole Foods, I love that store, maybe Trader Joe's, not quite sure about where else you can find it, you can check around. Um, delicious, but kambuka is not always in, is, is in season um, squash. So you can only get it, I believe, at towards the end of the year, like October, November, December-ish. I looked for it this time, already it's it's out of season. So I use an acorn squash, which is fine. You can do that. Um, so we had that one night. And again, you're gonna double that because you're gonna use the rest of the squash for soup, which is really good. You just kind of scrape it out of the, um, uh, the, I don't know what you would call it, the peel of the, ac of the squash throw it all in the blender with some coconut milk and I forget what else, it probably was just salt, but it was it was good. Um, one of these days we also had edanami and a roasted corn succotash. I will not be having that again. Not that I didn't like it, I was able to eat it that night, it's just not something I'm ever going to make in the future again and my husband didn't like that as well. You can either eat that one of two ways. You can heat it up uh, or eat it hot or you can eat it cold like a salad. I've tried it both ways now. It's just okay. Um, and that's me. Everybody's taste is different. So that's pretty much it. You know, breakfast from this point on is all fruits. Supplements, still getting them down. Lots of water. I am drinking a gallon a day. Some days it's just very easy to get that down. Um, especially it's a little cold now, right around I'm doing this, it's January, we're having unseasonably cold weather here, especially in the South, so I'm having lots of um, green tea, which is allowed to sit during the day, so I'm, I'm using my, my that as part of my water intake. So you wanna make sure you're looking for a green tea that is not just decaf, decaf just means it's got caffeine taken out of it, some of it, you wanna get a, 
um, decaffeinated. Yes, decaf. You want to make sure it says no caffeine at all. There's a difference between decaf and uh, decaffeinated, I believe. You got to look at the, the tea box itself. Um, so I will post a picture of which one I use here. And um, that's about it. I will, I'm looking forward to starting week three, the last phase, yay. So my last week, I'll be coming to you shortly. Thanks, bye.